In this lesson, we're going to take an initial look, very first look at naming some organic compounds. Organic compounds are those compounds which contain carbon and hydrogen. And oftentimes, they also contain some oxygen, nitrogen, sulfur, and maybe some halogens. Carbon is very unique in that it has the ability to catenate means it can make multiple bonds to other atoms of itself. So it can make long chains or even rings or cyclical compounds. Sometimes those chains can be hundreds of atoms long, you know, molecules such as polymers. And so we want to denote the number of atoms in the chain, the number of carbon atoms in the chain, and we're going to use that by using these prefixes. And so these are prefixes you're going to have to learn. They're a little bit different than the prefixes we use when we name covalent compounds. We talk about the number of each type of atom. Here we're talking about the number of atoms in the longest chain or in the cycle of the compound. And so these come from the IUPAC, the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry. That's the governing body that sets the rules for naming compounds. And just like you've learned how to count in other language, uno, dos, tres, quatre, cinq, six, and un, deux, trois, quatre, and so forth, um, or dean, deva, tres, chateri, piet, if you know a little Russian, um, you need to learn how to count in IUPAC. And so this is the way you count in IUPAC for organic compounds. Meth, F, Prope, but, pent, hex, hept, oct, known, deck. It goes beyond there, but this we're just going to learn the, the first 10. So those correspond to the number of carbons in the chain of being 1 to 10. So memorize these. They're going to be very important. And then the way that you name an organic compound is you tell them the longest number of carbons in the longest chain, which we just learned. Then you use a suffix that gives the identity of the type of organic molecule that it is. And the very simplest suffix is the ane suffix that refers to the alkanes. And these are compounds that contain only carbon and hydrogen and only have single bonds. Those are our alkanes. And so the very first one would be CH4, which is methane. One carbon, nothing but carbon and hydrogen and single bonds. And you can see a structural formula and also the ball and stick formula that, that's shown there. So CH4, and that four should be a subscript. So that's one carbon in the chain. Two carbons in the chain. It's going to be F ain. Three carbons in the chain. Be propane. Where that P R O P prop tells you that it's three carbons and ain tells you that it's nothing but carbon and hydrogen and nothing but single bonds. Four is butane. Five is pentane. Six will be hexane. Seven will be heptane. Not septane, but heptane. Eight will become octane. Nine become no name. And ten will be decane. We've got ten carbon atoms and only a uh, only other atom in the molecule are hydrogens, so they're all single bonded. So these are the alkanes. Uh, methane, it turns out, is what natural gas is composed of. Butane are, is found in your little lighters. The, it's the clear, colorless liquid you can see in the lighters. Propane, where do you find propane? That's in your backyard grill. Uh, you use LP gas, that's liquid propane gas. Where have you heard the word octane before? 
And that's at the gas pump. It's actually a, a mixture of different types of octanes, but that's a little bit more than what we want to go to in this class. But it's just the molecule octane is eight carbons in a continuous chain with enough hydrogens on each carbon to make four bonds. So that's a little bit about the alkanes. There are things that are called functional groups that are in organic molecules. And they're a group of atoms in the molecule that give rise to a particular type of chemistry that's common to those types of molecules that have that functional group. So just to give you a quick example of that, we got a two carbon molecule. So we got two carbons, that's gonna be F. And then it's got a special functional group in there, OH. This is ethanol, or alpha alcohol, or the alcohol that's found in alcohol beverages. The next one has three carbons in it. One, two, three. Thus, we use the prefix, if you will, prop, to tell you how many carbons are in that longest chain. And then we're going to drop the E from propane and add OL to make that propanol. And so this OH group, is, it's not the hydroxide ion, it's the hydroxyl functional group. And so these are alcohols. And you may have heard of isopropanol, which is another three carbon compound but it's got a little bit different bonding arrangement in that the OH groups on carb on the middle carbon instead of on one of the end carbons. So organic nomenclature, there are literally millions of organic compounds, and so each one has to have its own unique name, and there's a very systematic way to go about naming these, and the very first step toward learning all those many things is to learn how to name alkanes. When you take organic chemistry, you'll um, learn lots more functional groups.